Good Wednesday morning, lads. I'm Kieran McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's head to the cafeteria to find out what Miss Betsy has on the lunch menu today and tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Today we're gonna have super nachos, and Thursday we're gonna have a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. So come down and see us here in the cafeteria. Also, it is never too late to turn in a purple form to be in the program for free or reduced lunch. So come on down, bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Students, clear out your lunch charges by adding money to your account, and if you still have a purple free or reduced lunch form, bring it in so Miss Betsy can process it. Glads, you can still buy yearbooks for only $55 in the business office. Prices will go up in December. And seniors, listen up. The first deadline for baby ads and quotes for the yearbook is tomorrow. You must submit your material to Miss Kennedy by this Thursday, October 12th. This is a change because we are not in school on Friday. The last deadline is next Friday, October 20th, if you want them to be in the yearbook. Don't delay. Get those photos and quotes into the yearbook staff or room 104 as soon as possible. With October already on the calendar, those deadlines are coming fast. We also have many colleges visiting us this month. Here's the lineup. Hastings College is scheduled to visit tomorrow, October 12th. Next week, CSU Pueblo comes in on Tuesday, October 17th, and Pikes Peak Community College visiting on Wednesday, October 18th. October ends with a visit from CU Denver on Tuesday, October 31st. Luther College will kick off November visits on Thursday, November 2nd. And Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy will be here on November 8th during lunch in the lower comments. Check this out. They have a braid bar, so come check them out and get your hair done too. And finally, Adam State plans to be here on Thursday, November 16th. Swing by the Counseling Center to pick up your hall pass. Glad. If you want another opportunity to check out colleges, sign up to attend the college fair at Mesa Ridge on October 25th. WHS is taking 50 juniors and seniors to this fair, so if you would like to attend, sign up at the counseling office by tomorrow, October 12th. You do need a permission slip, and those are due no later than Tuesday, October 17th. Now, here's Jeremiah Jones with our Gladiator Sports Update. Good Wednesday morning, Glads. I'm Jeremiah Jones with your Gladiator Sports Update. It was a rough weekend for our Gladiator athletes. Our football team was overtaken by the Grizzlies in a great game. The boys are back on our home field this Friday night to take on the Cadets from Air Academy. Come cheer them on and help them get their mojo back. We have several teams winding down their seasons this week, but a few teams are moving on to regional and league tournaments this week and next. The boys' tennis team started regional match play last week, and the state tournament starts this week on Thursday. Good luck to all our tennis players who have advanced. In soccer news, the boys played the TCA Titans last night, but couldn't overcome the cold and lost. The boys have a long rest this week, but kick up their games again next week on the 17th against Harrison here at home at 4 p.m. The Lady Glads volleyball team played Canyon City on, on Tuesday night, but couldn't block the loss. The ladies are back on the court tomorrow night against Sierra at Sierra. Cross Country is scheduled to run in the Colorado Springs Metro League meet tomorrow at Fountain Fort Carson. The team is poised to clock some great times to move team members onto regionals in Durango next week and then to state finals later this month. The ladies softball team would like to thank everyone who came out to support them this year. They have a great season and expect to do even better next year. Finally, ladies, if you are interested in joining this year's swim and dive team, Mrs. Wickberg will be holding an informational meeting next week on Wednesday, October 18th at lunch in room 110. Come learn Learn about the program and get ready to start making waves on November 10th. Good luck to all our sports teams this week. That's it for our sports update. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Jeremiah Jones. Now back to you, Corinne and Kieran. Thanks, Jeremiah. Teachers, some juniors will be taking the PSAT test today during periods one through four. They should have notified you of their absences. Okay, Glads, if you're not getting a good night's sleep, it could be your mattress. Luckily for you, the WHS Theater Program is holding its first annual mattress fundraiser. Yep, it's a mattress sale. On Saturday, October 21st, the small gym will be filled with mattresses of all sizes, styles, and price ranges for your purchase. You can save up to 50% off retail prices. The sale will run from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. If you or someone in your family needs a new mattress, you should come check it out. All proceeds from this sale benefit the WHS Theater Program. 
Glatz, are you tired of dropping your phone when you're trying to take that perfect selfie? National Honor Society has you covered. For only $10, you can pick up a Gladiator Pop Socket for your phone. It's a great way to show your spirit, spruce up your phone, and help NHS raise some money. See HK in the library to get yours today. And now, here are your club and activities updates for Wednesday and Thursday. If you missed the forensics team meeting on Tuesday, see Ms. Owen or Mr. L. Hoffer for the details. Teachers and staff, there will be a forensics tournament here this weekend, so please check your email to prepare your rooms for our visitors. The 180 Club meets in room 5 every Wednesday at lunch with Mr. Sickmiller. DECA and FBLA also meet on Wednesdays at lunch in Lab 159. For those who enjoy tabletop games, that club meets on Wednesdays in room 160 from 3 to 5 p.m. On Thursdays, freshman, junior, and senior councils meet at lunch. Freshman council meets in room 2. Junior council meets in one, room 166, while the senior council currently meets in room 101. Book club also meets every other Thursday at lunch in the library in the magazine room. They are meeting tomorrow for a special Meet the Author field trip. You will meet in the library after first hour and be back by lunch. Permission slips are due now. Get them in so you can go. Environmental Club meets at lunch in room 204 and picks up recycling every other Thursday during advisory. Link Crew meets on Tuesdays and Thursdays during advisory in rooms 123, 124, or 201. And as always, Student Union is open in the library every afternoon from 3 to 4.15. You do need to have a sticker on your ID, like this one, to stay and play or to work on homework. And just a few more housekeeping notes before we go. Seniors, listen up. If you were not here for the senior class meeting last week, please see Ms. Abeda in the Counseling Center to collect the important information you missed. Glads, if you have a problem with another student and you'd like to talk about it or just need someone to listen to you work through a resolution, check out the peer mediators. They're available to help you solve those small issues you may have with other students before they become bigger issues that will land you in Mr. Shoes or Mr. Clark's office. Ask your teacher to help you fill out the Google form to get things rolling. Mr. Kelso is sponsoring a new club on campus. It's called the Widefield Young Americans for Freedom Club where all opinions are welcome. They had their first meeting yesterday and will meet every other Tuesday in Mr. Kelso's room. That's room 208. If you missed it and if you'd like to join this club, please see Mr. Kelso. And finally, Glads, the Freshman Council is holding a hat day tomorrow. If you would like to wear a hat, please buy a wristband from freshman reps in the front lobby after school today or before school tomorrow. Wristbands are only $1. Well, that's all for us today. Have a great Wednesday. I'm Kieran McAfee. And I'm Kieran Doolittle, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great week. Oh,